Hello everyone, my name is Dylan. I hope you guys liked that little intro thing, I thought that was pretty cool. Today, in the spirit of Halloween, we're going to be building this spooky mansion I have here behind me. The video today is a special one because obviously we're here to celebrate Halloween, and what better way to do that than to build a spooky house. If you're interested in my channel where I build cool stuff like this on Minecraft, please check out my other videos on my channel and consider subscribing for more stuff like this. With all the boring stuff out of the way, let's get straight into the build and I'll see you guys later.
guys welcome back from the time lapse i really hope you guys enjoyed that um so now that we have finished building the house we are going to tour it now one thing that i did not include in the time lapse is the um decoration surrounding the outside of the house itself which um i built before recording this off camera so we have this nice uh m these two little like mini wheat fields i guess and this nice scarecrow to defend the crops from the crows. In similar fashion, um, the house also has these nice little wooden log stacks that make for good decoration as a way of showing that like the house was under construction. So it's a really cool technique that I used with oak logs, um, as well as these uh, rail carts and these campfires that I've um, put out using a shovel so I can demonstrate here real quick. So if you grab a shovel and you just right click on it, it gets rid of the gravel down below and it makes for a nice decorative piece if you ever want to use that for your builds. Another thing I would like to point out about the build is the pathway technique that I've been using for multiple builds so far, um, which is comprised of cobblestone slabs, stone buttons, uh, podzel, coarse dirt, as well as dirt paths that I used um, a shovel to create with. But you can also just look for dirt paths inside of the building blocks. All decorative things aside, um, let's actually get into the house itself. So entering with this menacing looking um, entryway leading up to the porch, which is two blocks raised above the ground. Much of the porch itself is made up of stripped spruce logs and uh, spruce planks. So if there's ever a house fire, you can kiss this place goodbye. But other than, the, um, other than the wood, a lot of blocks that I've also used are anvils and stone brick walls that make for really good supporting pieces if you ever want to um, display a more Victorian looking style of house, which I actually used as the template for this house. I believe this house is based on a mansion in Carl, Carlsbad, California, uh, somewhere around the California area but it makes for a really nice looking haunted house. There are three entrances to get into the house. One is the main entrance here on the left side of the porch coming up and one on the right side of the porch with this second entryway that leads into this nice little three by three room with um, windows on all sides. And one other entryway that is in the back of the house, which is um, a nice little small porch, not too big with a bunch of um, barrels and a composter there. Coming back to the front, um, we will go through the front entrance of the house and I will start by giving the tour. One of the first things you notice walking into this house is this uh, grand fireplace that's made up of brick walls and brick and stone, oh, sorry, brick uh, stairs as well. And this nice little spruce sign, which I was actually thinking of replacing with a item frame with like a mob head inside of it. So it's like a um, decorative piece instead of just this boring spruce sign, but the spruce sign actually makes it look a little bit more uniform with the rest of the house. So it looks pretty good. And in the corner is this um, wooden sofa, which I don't imagine would be very comfortable and a nice little fern pot amongst this interesting scaffolding that is supposed to be like um, a temporary placement for a table as decoration. So looks pretty good, but I wish the wood would be different than bamboo because it kind of sticks out a lot. Right across the um, main hallway from the living room is the kitchen, which is um, very nice, small, and compact with this um, furnace as the main feature. And the chimney that connects on top of this furnace is actually connected all the way throughout the um, first floor from the house all the way to the chimney up above and you can actually see it from outside the house if you go outside. In the corner we have candles as light sources, this chest up here with a plant in the corner as well, and this brewing stem that I like to interpret as a um, coffee maker because obviously Minecraft doesn't have coffee makers unless you have a mod, but um, it looks pretty good as decoration and as well as a little fern in a pot. Coming out of the kitchen we have the uh, main hall. And if you notice immediately, one of the biggest um, decorative pieces in this hallway is the um, storage barrel that is um, lined up against this wall using one of my favorite archway techniques, which is made of spruce stairs and spruce trapdoors, which make for a great archway 
which I've used here and as well as over here on the build. I didn't really take into consideration the size of the main staircase would be running from the bottom of the house to the top. So they're definitely, it, it, it's definitely a tight squeeze to get through here, but um, if you avoid that, then the rest of the house should be nice to navigate through. In the corner of the main hallway here, wrapping around the corner, we have this nice grandfather clock that looks really nice actually. I'm, I'm quite surprised with the way it turned out. I didn't really look at a, a tutorial video for this. I kind of just freehanded it and it turned out really good. So it's made up of dark oak door and a dark oak trap door as well as a dark oak sign and some um, staircases with a main clock piece in the middle. So you, you can tell it's actually like a grandfather clock. I think it looks really good. So um, because it looks nice, I think I might make a separate video um, detailing how to make props such as this grandfather clock, but um, that's for another time. Coming around the corner from the grandfather clock, we once again step into this little three by three room with um, the window arches on either side, which make for good natural lighting. And it also has the second entrance to the house. So um, everything in the house is quite literally inter interconnected. Um, and here is the back door. So all, all of the entrances are very close together. Now, as we move on to the second story of the house coming up the staircase, I would like to point out this nice little um, torch technique that I've used on multiple builds so far. And I think I've actually learned this technique mm, roughly around five years ago. And it's made of a item frame and a torch with a uh, slab of your choice in the middle in the uh, item frame. So what you would do is place the torch down and then you could actually place an item frame behind the torch and put anything you want inside of the item frame so it looks like it's kind of actually holding the torch in place so i think that was pretty cool now coming up the staircase um, we enter the second floor and once again it's a uh, very tight squeeze so if you just disregard the tight squeeze then the rest of the house actually looks pretty good I used a, the similar template for the barrel storage downstairs, but instead I replaced the barrels with um, bookshelves, so it makes for a nice uh, reading space and to store all of your information. We have some paintings here, which make for nice detail, and a nice checkered carpeting, which definitely adds to the Victorian feel of the house, similarly in this little bedroom on the right side of the main hallway. And in this bedroom, um, the furnace here in the middle that can be used for heating during the winter or something like that because uh, the only other heat source in here is this little candle won't really help much but here we have this uh, compact bed comprised of the bed itself some spruce trap doors and the spruce trap doors help hold up the double chest up above so if um, it actually makes for a good way to implement storage and a bed inside of your house if you ever play survival minecraft makes for a good uh, storage saver. Um, across the main hallway from the bedroom, we have the master bedroom, which has the uh, fireplace that I've copied and pasted from the downstairs. So directly below me is actually the main uh, living room. And up above it here, we have another compact bed design. And although it is the master bedroom, um, I kind of had to save space with it to uh, make room for this attic entrance, but we'll come back to that later on. Uh, in one corner of the room has this uh, withered rose in a pot, um, which makes for a nice spooky vibe. And um, in the opposite corner is this nice armor stand. And right outside the uh, master bedroom is the second story um, porch which is a direct copy of the one downstairs, it has the same amount of space, but um, just without a covering over it, which looks really nice. Coming back inside of the house, we will make our way towards the east, uh, east wing of the house. Um, some more paintings and storage and this <laughs> head up for display. Um, don't know how he got here. And um, a mini bedroom here with a compact bed once again. Uh, a note block as decoration and another armor stand. Now we will finally make our way to the um, tower, the main tower of the building that's four stories tall. So it's going to be quite a journey coming up of it. Um, we have this nice little um, balcony view um, 
which has these windows that give off a great view of the front of the house. And continuing up, we have this small little, um, I don't know what you would call this. It's just a little mini room uh, that has this door connecting to another outside balcony. And there are balconies as well surrounding the rest of the tower. And up top has this lightning rod. So whenever lightning strikes the house, hopefully it'll strike in the safest spot possible so it doesn't burn the rest of the house down because the house is mostly made of wood. So making our way uh, back down the staircase, we will go back to the master bedroom where I mentioned we will go back to the attic entrance. So we will make our way over there right now. And it has a spruce trap door covering the entrance, so um, it kind of blends in with the ceiling. And as we make our way up here, we have a mini attic, um, which does not take up uh, the amount of space that the whole attic actually does. Oh, here it is. So there is a lot of free space around here in the attic, but I couldn't really make it work because um, it was just too cramped. So here we have um, the mini attic with some barrels and some chest and some um, TNT in the corner um, whenever you're plotting for something. And here is the chimney that runs uh, throughout the whole house from the first floor all the way up to the top. And I believe that is about it. Uh, I will give one final fly around of the house just to kind of check out all the features. Uh, like I said, this build was heavily influenced by a Victorian house um, built in California. Um, I might try and provide the Pinterest link for that in the description down below. Overall, it's a very nice house. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Um, here's the chimney that runs throughout the uh, entire house and it's made up of these brick stairs and these flower pots that I've taken inspiration from British designs that feature interesting looking chimneys. That seems to conclude um, the tour of the house. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, as much as I did. And of course, happy Halloween. I hope uh, everyone who celebrates Halloween has a great Halloween night. Make sure to stay safe. Check for razor blades in your candy. <laughs> But yeah, no, for real. I hope you guys have a great Halloween and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and goodbye.